Well, here we are again in Saginaw, Texas. Normally I'm doing rail fanning and it looks like there are some trains moving. So perhaps we'll catch those and I'll pan around in a minute so you get an idea of the lay of the land here. But today I'm going to do an unboxing. And my unboxing today is this box. One of the biggest and most expensive boxes of model railroading stuff that I have ever received. Given the cost of a DCC and sound equipped locomotives, a thousand bucks isn't that much, but <laughs> that's how much I spent on rolling stock in this box. And here's the usual scene at the depot in Saginaw. However, it looks like they're getting ready to work on, maybe even replace the diamond with some other track work. So there's a lot of supplies stacked up here. Hopefully they won't interfere with the 24 hours of Saginaw, which is in three weeks. Um, and here kind of behind the depot, you can see some snack track. They've got some uh, crossings and other things already laid out to be uh, installed, just like a model railroad. All right, so now we're gonna get this box open and you will soon see what it is that's in here, as will I, and I will see if there's been any damage. This corner of the box is broken in. Well, I'm encouraged, look at that. Very nicely, very nicely packaged, hopefully you can see that. This corner where the box was crushed, there aren't any trains in that corner. That's a good sign. my eyes out for trains here as well. Now you see there's inner packaging as well and you can see here HO scale trains, Rapido trains. It's a double unboxing, a triple unboxing, a quadruple unboxing. Here we go. <laughs> Backwards. I'll zoom in a little bit digitally so you can see what that is. GLFX reporting marks. And these are auto flood coal hoppers. Auto flood three coal hoppers. GLFX, that is a Gulf Coast power company that's no longer in business and of course um, given my fictitious railroad set in the future in the Gulf Coast that's perfect so uh, I ordered quite a few of these so this box contains six this box should contain six and they should all be different road numbers, all GLFX auto floods. So this should make a nice uh, coal unit train on my layout. I'll have to check the road numbers when I get home, but there you go. More auto flood hoppers. I'll open one of these in a moment. Well, it's a good thing the damage occurred to the other side of the box. This box was right up against the outside edge of the box, but it does not look damaged. Everything is very well packaged here. I guess given the nature of my order, these six packs, it was easy to pick these six packs out and make sure that it's Assuming the, assuming the contents are as labeled, these are all different road numbers. So, 18 cars, 18 different road, road numbers. Yep. Now, 
Now, before I open up this individual car, I do have a quick story to tell you about this shipment. And I ask you to honor the Brotherhood of Man because that was not honored during this delivery. Normally, my wife doesn't find out about or make a peep about camera purchases or <laughs> any other large expenditures I make for my hobbies. Uh, but on this occasion, when I ordered from Rapido, they didn't tell me when they were going to ship. And of course, they shipped at a time when we were on the road and not in town. And so a neighbor uh, was tasked with uh, watching our door to make sure that nothing showed up. I didn't think the Rapido order would show up. But of course it did. Now look, if you're ever asked to do this for a friend and the box that is received appears to be something that might be guy related and there might be a little domestic friction about it, you know, maybe it's car parts, maybe it's camera equipment or video, you know, audio video equipment or maybe it's model trains. Don't blow the whistle on your buddy, okay? Just say, hey, I got a box for you, or say nothing at all. But in this case, my neighbor said, I got a really big box, and it looks like model trains. <laughs> well, you know, that wasn't exactly the best news my wife ever heard that day. Um, and then, of course, she fly-specced the bank statement and saw that I'd spent $1,000 on trains. So, never made a peep when I spent three, dollars $4,000 on a camera, but... At any rate, brotherhood of man here, protect each other. All right, let's open up one of these bad boys and see what it looks like. I can tell you right now, it looks pretty good. The ladder detail on here is extremely fine, extremely fine. It looks like the individual rungs have been applied. They look like they might be photo etched or they're painted separately, painted black, but they're very, very fine. It's nicely done. I see a lot of these when I'm riding my bike. I'll try and put a little B-roll here so you can see that. So I've got a pretty good idea of how these are gonna be weathered. Well, it's a Rapido decal. A little write up on the uh, prototype. Keeping my eyes out for trains. Still nothing. There was a UP uh, train down there moving. Hmm. A little wand like thing on the bottom here. I guess, maybe you can see that against my shirt. It's, uh, I guess it's, it's got a mirror on one side, it's got mirrors on it. I don't know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna carefully remove this because uh, it looks very delicate. I can see there are some uh, separately applied air hoses on the ends here. I don't want to damage any of the uh, detail on the gates on the bottom of the model. Take the plastic wrap off. All right, and I'll try and zoom in a little bit here, but there is uh, some nice photo etch little uh, walkway above the coupler. There's uh, air hoses with some nice detailing on them. They're pretty, oh uh, wow, look at this uh, coupler re release. I'll get close here. You can see the coupler release bar there, extremely small and delicate. I don't, I don't even want to try and touch it. Uh, really nice uh, decal, decaling on here. Hopefully this won't be blown out in the sun. But the uh, data on here is, yeah, that does look like it's going to be blown out by the sun. 
the data on take it from me the data on here is extremely fine uh, really really nicely done there's even a little bit of data on the truck um, really really nice uh, there isn't a lot of fine detailing on those gates and the original may not have fine detailing on the gates at any event um, oh wait I remember I believe this wand is to help is to remove this coal load and this is a magnet of this coal load and the magnet will pull it off. Now you can see inside a lot of nice detailing in there, cross members. It's not just an open bay. There are cross members in there, rivet detail. Really, really nicely done. So considering how many of these I bought, <laughs> I'm certainly glad that they're as nice as they are but this is gorgeous and with a little light weathering it'll be ready to take to the road on the Pohoi, Karen, Kara and Western. Well that's all I've got for you this time. Until next time, Bob Johnson with PK&W Model Works signing off. Keep on modeling.